show how to get there. But without the gear, the key lock is a must. Everything that I do 90 degrees, I have control. <coughs> when I sweep somebody, my legs are 90 degrees, it works. Anytime that I go further than that, it's a challenge now. That's why whenever we have no gear, I want to stay 90 degrees with my arms. Because everything I do too far, I have no gear to hold on. We have that side control. And make sure you guys find a base that your hip lower. I don't want to have a base that my hip is high. I want to go down to the ground. I want to stay low and my body is in contact with him the whole time. My objective is the top hand goes on the far arm, the top arm. Please don't use your thumb. I have monkey grip. And I'm holding my hand on my own wrist. And make sure you always bring his wrist towards his body. Now that's a pretty good control. What I like to do in Jiu Jitsu is not just looking for one submission. I'm looking for a controlling position that will give me five or more options. And we have a submission for all taste size of people. What I like to do to give me comfort to feel not much challenge to mount, because a lot of times people over here, they try to mount. I don't have room to mount. I'm bringing my knee behind him and I'm sitting on the ground. I'm hugging him. See my legs pinching? Now I have, look, I move my head back a little anytime, hook. Once my legs are surround my opponent, it's a big trouble for him now because no matter where he goes, I'm in control. A lot of times I'm bringing my hand in and I'm pushing him forward. Look how my hands change. Top to the bottom, this one here. That's it. And I'm just dropping my weight. <clears throat> All I did is pushing, switch the hand. And if I go on top, sorry, Jay, I'm going to mess your hair. <laughs> Boom. Look at this. There's no hands for him to tap. Got to be careful. Anytime I have the control, that he starts moving towards me. Thank you. I'm right on his back. But you see where my foot is? I'm pushing the floor a little to use the heel. I want to cross my legs high. I can cross this way now. Look where we are. Pinchy. Whenever we have the legs around, no matter where he goes, he's under my control. I have the top hand here, here. I bring the leg, sit on the ground, see how he's on top of my leg. Here we go. I can go forward, I can go back. Even from here, as he falls towards me, look my hands. Switch. Here we go. Trap the arm. And always this motion with your knees to make sure there's no space for him to spin his body. Start from here. Okay, go, chest on him, go one, I go two, in, slide, this way, now leg goes over, here we go, any attempt of him go anywhere, forward, switch, you have the chair, back, keep the leg, look, I'm going to move my hip, I can just cross my leg, anywhere I want, Jay, can you spin around you, thank you, the more he moves, the more the arms are exposed, all right? This is a key position for us to learn from side control. Here. Everywhere we go is this. Sit down, play guard, sit up. I'm always here. All right? Get your partner start from side control. Make that control. Step. Roll back, roll forward. You in charge. One, two, three. Thank you.